Hello, everybody, and welcome to Gene's Reviews. Reviews from a regular day, where I do trailer reactions, I react to YouTube videos, I review YouTube channels, occasionally I'll review a movie, but really, I just do whatever the hell I want. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Gene's Reviews. Reviews. I'm just a regular dude. Down in the basement. Today we're going to go back to Dark Matter, one of my favorite channels. And this is called Scary People Caught on Camera. So let's check that one out. Whilst the paranormal can be scary, some strangers can be downright terrifying. So from the horrors of addiction to a deformed man by the side of the road, See, join us. A ton of times. Had people comment saying they think it's a demon or something. Whilst on call for his latest job, Brooklyn Uber driver Sahan Uga was suddenly stopped by this mysterious stranger. As seen, the man slowly and silently approaches his car, almost appearing possessed. Damn, so I have this fucking I, crazy I guy around. that just popped up in front of my car out of nowhere, and he's freaking me the fuck out, bro. <laughs> I called the cops. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this guy doing? I'm on Ocean Parkway between X and Y, just driving down. And this guy out of nowhere in the middle of the street goes right in front. What would you do in that situation? I think I'd try to drive around him. I wouldn't keep backing up like that. Or if I'd wait till he got up to the side of the window and then just take off. On my car. And fucking, he won't let me through. Look, let's say I want to try and go through. Look at that, you see that? You see that? He's not letting me his through. Asshole. His eye is all fucked up. Holy shit. Of course, however, it's more likely he was under some influence. Still, this doesn't take away from the eeriness of the situation, nor what the stranger planned to do if he actually caught Sahan. He was either under the influence or something, or he was, had mental illness, like schizophrenia or something like that. Yo, do you need money, bro? Do you need help? Are you okay? What's going on? No response, just like the fucking... That's there right here. Look at his eyes, yo. I'm not even fucking with you. His eyes are fucking crazy. You see his fucking eyes? Yo, his eyes are all fucked up. He looks like a normal dude other than that. Wow, look at his eyes. You see that shit? Fortunately, though, the man was arrested before any trouble ensued. Oh, cool. He's still doing it with the cops there. I, I think it's mental illness. I think the guy has schizophrenia or something like that. I wanted them to... I wanted to see them take him down. A popular YouTuber, the filmmaker Dan Bell has explored oh, numerous cool. abandoned locations. I've never seen him before. However, his scariest video came during a visit to a former children's mental asylum. Eerily, Dan believes that a former patient has returned to live there, and even creepier, that he may have indirectly filmed them. In one part of the video, as he explores the main hallway, a humanoid shadow can be seen across the nearby door. This shadow then disappears when he approaches it. Shit. Fucking battery exploded. I saw something really, really faint. Right? There. 
Later, meanwhile, as Dan looks around upstairs, there seems to be someone watching him from a doorknob hole. Yeah. Now as to who this was, all evidence points to a squatter, yet whilst this seems relatively harmless, the discovery of dried blood, as well as the fact the person constantly stalked Dan, makes the whole experience unsettling. Even if it's just a squatter, I wouldn't think that's harmless. Unsurprisingly, Many scary people are often misidentified as paranormal entities. Seen this one. In this first video, filmed in the forest of Rocky Gully, oh, Australia, the uploader claims he heard some strange sounds coming from the woods. Still, rather than anything creepy, he expected a wild animal. But as he took his phone out, he suddenly captured this. That's weird. You think that's human? Or do you think it's an animal? I saw a video a while back of, it was called something like, Woman Runs Like Horse. And it shows this woman down on all fours running. So, kind of makes me think that it's just somebody who can do that. Of course, since the video is unfortunately short, some have claimed it's fake, yet the figure clearly displays an incredible ability to run on all fours. In fact, because of the ease with which it moved, viewers first looked to the paranormal Francis. Others though maintain it's a meth addict, suggesting they live in the woods. If so, they've been completely consumed by their addiction. Right there. Yeah, I think it's... I think it's staged. Wearyingly, however, they may not be the only one to have become so animalistic. In similar footage, the rapper Boss Lucci caught this mysterious addict. Alright, I'm gonna go slow. Go slow, go slow, go slow. I'm gonna go slow. Get that nigga. World star! Fuck you! I know he's too fast! Bro, I know he's too fast, bro. No, nigga, he's too okay, fucking fast. Hey, son. Oh, no, I guarantee your car's right there. No, son, what are you at? So you're right there running down the street naked, bro. Oh, no, I don't know. Get the light on my face. Yes. <laughs> I don't see you. He's right there. Son, go straight, go straight, go straight, go straight. Right there, right there. Where? Right there. Go straight, go straight, go straight. Go to the middle street, go to the middle street. Yet whilst he and friends make light of the situation, even driving around a few times to film him, the stranger is undeniably unnerving. Not only do his eyes seem to glow, but he manages to achieve excessive speeds as he runs after them. That is crazy, and if he's like naked and barefooted, how is he running like that on the street? Filmed on the outskirts of Bellin, New Mexico, uploader Joe Robb explained that whilst taking a casual drive, he observed a mysterious man by the side of the road. Curious, Joe took his phone out and went to investigate. However, to his horror, as... Okay, this is the one that I've seen before, and I had some people comment that they thought that it was some kind of a demon. It wasn't real. Kind of the same thing as that. It looks like the same image as if you've seen it of in that church. When all those people are in that church, and that guy comes walking down the aisle, and he's like wearing, looks like hip-hop clothes, and he's like swinging his arms and everything. Somebody told me that was a demon. But the face looks the same. As he approached the stranger, 
he suddenly chased after him. I want to try and get you guys a picture of this. Check this but out. this thing is scary as hell. I have never seen no one look like this or be like this. See if you guys can see it with the light down there. Oh no, still too far. I'm getting on the road here by it and I don't see nothing still. I'm gonna zoom it out. Where the fuck is it? Where did they go? I don't know where they went. What the fuck? He's standing like under the sign over there. I don't know if you guys can see that. He's legit like standing under that sign right there. Just like right there on the side of the road. What the fuck is that? Do you see that right there? Do you see yeah, there that? There it is. What the fuck? But they got like some weird mask or something. What the hell is that? It looks that? like the bottom part of his face. What is the fuck? His jaw is gone. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Looks like his face is really fat up here and it just kind of angles down into almost a like a V shape. And then he kind of Fortunately though, his arm Joe was out. able to escape. But who did he actually escape from? Disturbingly, the man's face appears inhuman, yet it's unclear if he's deformed or he's wearing a mask. Regardless, the general consensus is that the man was a thief, or worse still, a murderer. Whatever the truth, the thought of encountering this person is certainly terrifying. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Well, that was scary people caught on camera. <coughs> From dark matter. All right. You know what it's time for. Why does Spider-Man always flush the toilet? Because it's his duty. Thank you, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hashtag Mean Gene, all that fun stuff. And if you like this video, tell all your friends. Leave a comment down below. And if you didn't like it, then just shut up. And I will see you next time.